Welcome back everybody. Now today I've got five tiny flashlights, just like this one, to see if they really work. That's today's video. All right, I should point out that I'm not one of those flashlight gurus you see on YouTube. I've watched some of their channels. They're very impressive people with their knowledge of flashlights. I'm not one of them. I'm just an average consumer who's happened to have reviewed quite a few flashlights. In fact, I've done the Tech Light, the Tech Light Elite, Atomic Beam Glove, Atomic Beam Headlight, a couple of lanterns, the Bell & Howe Light Bar, the Hydra Light, and a bunch of other SCN TV lighter products. In fact, I'll link a playlist below where you can see all of them. But today I'm looking at these six tiny flashlights. In fact, it looks more like five tiny ones and one not so tiny one. When I was originally planning this video out, I had a spreadsheet with a whole bunch of different choices. I had the length, the lumens, the price. So when I finally narrowed down to these six, the 4.4 inches on this one didn't really seem like so much, but compared to the others, it does seem a lot larger. So it's almost like I have five extra small flashlights and one small flashlight. But I still think it's gonna be worth comparing all six of these. Right now I've got them smallest to largest, 1.3 inches all the way up to 4.4 inches, but this is not the same order of brightness. If I change the brightness, it looks like this. We've got the Night Fox, the Keymate, the Lumen Top, the Olight, the Aurora, and the Through Night. So we have three categories. We have the low lumens, the mid lumens, and the high lumens. These two are under 100 lumens. These two are between 1 and 500 lumens, and these are over 500 lumens. So let's get started with the smallest of the bunch, the Night Fox. First up, check out my unboxing from yesterday. All right, let's start off with the lowest lumens and also I believe the smallest. This is the Night Fox. Comes in an attractive case. All right, it comes with a keychain. Actually gives you extra batteries. Look at the size of this thing. Wow, that is small. Look at that. There we go. Okay, cool. I believe this is the only one that has only a single mode. But that is a tiny flashlight. Look at that. I think it's also the only flashlight of the bunch that has the button cells, but it is nice to give you extras. Uh, this is a two-handed operation, but it only has one mode, on and off. That's it, 15 lumens. Now this is not gonna do as well in the brightness test I have later on. It'll do well in the convenience tests. When it's that small, that compact, maybe brightness isn't really the, uh, the idea. I also like the little carry case to give it as well. This is the Keymate, which looks like a key actually. Let's first take a look at how the unboxing went. This is what I'm really curious about, the Streamlight Keymate. Look, at it looks like a key. It says try me, but I think it might need to be charged before I can try it. USB rechargeable, 35 lumens, three modes. Goodness. There it is. And here's a charging port right here. It's very interesting. I, I can't wait to see how this one works out. So the Keymate has only uh, one button operation, three modes. 16 lumen, 35, and strobe. It also has this nice clip here which you can put on a keychain. They also say that you can use it on the back of a hat. It's kind of like a tail light. It has a non-replaceable battery, which is kind of a bummer, but it is rated for three to 400 discharges. Next up is the lumen top. Let's first take a look at how the unboxing went. There's a couple of O-rings here. Oh, nice keychain, that's good. This is the only flashlight in the bunch that has a glow-in-the-dark diffuser, so it'll be interesting to see how that looks. Very nice, still small. And this takes uh, one AAA battery. I put a rechargeable battery in here because I don't want to keep paying for batteries. And this is also the only flashlight where I had to supply my own battery. This has an interesting alternating twist design. It goes once, high, medium, low. You just keep turning it to cycle through. And the O-rings in here actually glow and it includes this diffuser so you can diffuse the light. And the diffuser itself also glows. So you have the O-rings that glow and the diffuser that glows. This is the O-light which is actually quite small, 150 lumens. Let's take a look at how the unboxing went. Next up, the Olight in the nice high-end retail packaging. Kind of Inception style, we got a box within a box. 
This is USB rechargeable. It does not come with a cord. They're very clear about that. No cord. Definitely one of the smaller of the, of the group here. But a respectable 150 lumens. Be interested to see how this looks. So the Olight only has two modes. And it's interesting because you, you turn it once for low and you just keep turning to get high. Low, they say, is 5 lumens. High is 150. And also, if you want to recharge it, you unscrew it. And then that unveils the charging port there. So really, if you're looking for a bright, compact flashlight compared to the Night Fox, the Olight is actually 10 times brighter and not much bigger. Now let's work up to the big leagues with the Aurora A3. Look at this thing. Very compact. Compared to the others, it doesn't really look out of the ordinary, but this one goes up to 650 lumens. Let's take a look at the unboxing for the Aurora A3. Thank you for having easy packaging to open too, by the way. There it is. Only 2.2 inches. You have a strap, charging cable, and a keychain. And this is supposed to be 650 lumens? That I have to see. That I really have to see. To operate, you can just press this button once just to get access to the light itself. Very bright. And actually a single click doesn't do anything. Nothing. But double click, then you can cycle through them. And that's where one click does work. And then you just hold it to go off. You can also triple click for strobe. After 100 seconds, the medium and high modes will step down to 100 lumens. You have four modes. Moonlight, two lumens. Low, which is 20 lumens. Medium, which starts at 360 and goes down to 100 after 100 seconds. And high, which is 650, which goes down to 100 lumens after 100 seconds. And finally, by any other standards, this would be a small flashlight. But in this group, this is the behemoth of the bunch. The Through Night T2. Let's take a look at the unboxing of how this one went. And finally, the biggest of the bunch, but also the, supposedly the brightest, the Through Night. It's also the most expensive. I wasn't sure if I should include this one as a mini flashlight, but it is still pretty small. Through Night T2, definitely bigger than the others, but this one supposedly goes up to 3,700 lumens. Still pretty compact. I mean, that's uh, for 3,700 lumens, if you can get that in your hand. Let's see what else is in here. We got the manual. Look that over. This is very important. So we got a strap, charging cable, and another strap. So the through night is the biggest of the bunch at 4.4 inches, but it maxes out at 3,757 lumens. But you can only get that for a couple minutes, then it steps down to 732, I believe. This says he's a rechargeable battery. I haven't really found the controls of this one to be very intuitive, because you can just press and hold to get their Firefly mode, which is 0.3 lumens, very low. So if you just click it once, you'll go to your previous mode, and it goes off. But if you want to change modes, then you have to press and hold down. So you have low at 30, medium at 366, high at 17, 12. If I double click at the turbo, 3757. Single press will take you to your last mode you used. Double click will take you to turbo. Triple click will take you to strobe. It's taken me a while to get these controls down because sometimes I'll find myself pressing one button, expecting another. Not to mention I've been trying out five flashlights at the same time. But once you get the controls down, it's pretty impressive. It's certainly much bigger than the other five are. I mean, it's almost as big of all, as all of them combined, really. So what I did next is I wanted to try out all these in my brightness test out in the backyard. I did that last night, and here's how that went. I don't think you're going to be able to see some of these lower lumens, but I'm going to try it anyways. Oh, maybe you do see it. This will be the Night Fox. One mode. One mode. Not very bright. Night Fox, a whopping 15 lumens. But also very small. Look at the size of this thing. Very small. Let's try the, uh, the Keymate. This has two modes, 16 and 35 lumens. So let's see. 16. Right, that's a 35. I think the light is too dispersed to really see on this wall. You can see it here. Can't see it over there. On strobe, maybe you can get a feel for it. 16, 35, strobe. 
Time for the O light. Two modes. This one's weird because you turn it for the lowest mode and keep turning it for the higher mode. The high mode is supposed to be 100. Bailey. The high mode is supposed to be 150 lumens. Pretty bright. Certainly the brightest so far. The low mode is really kind of hard to tell. Low, high. Let's try the lumen top. This one uses a kind of a quick twist technique. High, medium, low. High, medium, low. So there's the high. This is supposed to be 120 lumens. So we got the O light on the right and the lumen top on the left. 150, 120, and it definitely is brighter. The 150 is brighter than the 120, so I would say that's an accurate description of how bright it is. Let me show you the diffuser here now. So here's what the, here's what the diffuser on. Whoa, pretty cool. And then even without the diffuser, there's a, an O-ring in there that glows. So if you just turn your flashlight off, you still be able to find the dark because the O-ring glows. Pretty cool feature. I like that too. Now we're getting to the big leagues with the Aurora A3, which goes up to 650 lumens. So if you just press the button once, it, it just goes into high, but you have to hold it down. So really what you want to do is double click it. So they call the first mode Moonlight, which is a whopping two lumens. You can barely see it. The next mode they call that low at 20. Definitely can see that. Medium is 360, but it steps down to 100 lumens after 100 seconds. And high is 650 lumens, it steps down to 100 lumens after 100 seconds. Let's compare that to the Olight. All right, Olight, 150. Aurora A3, 650. All right, so what would normally be a small flashlight is the big one of the group. This is the Through Night T2. It's a little bit, the controls take a little bit of getting used to. You press and hold and you get the Firefly mode, which is 0.3 lumens. You can't even see that. You can probably see it, there you can see it now, but it's very faint. Low, medium, and that's pretty bright. How about the Aurora A3 versus the Through Night? That's the turbo mode, and you can barely even see the 650. That's the turbo mode. It only lasts about a minute or so before it steps back down. But look at how bright that is. Even the 650 mode is pales in comparison. Wow, I got a lot of weeds in my yard. It's actually getting hot already. Yeah, the through night's already getting hot, but man, that was bright for a while it lasted. I just wanna go over a little brightness test here for you. We'll start off with the lowest end of the Night Fox. Not too bad, how's that look? All right, let's try the Keymate. We'll put it on its highest mode, 35. The Lumen Top, Lumen Top at its brightest. O light. The Aurora A3. Oh, we're getting bright now. The Through Night T2. That's not even on turbo. Let's try turbo. Boom! Let there be light. So not all of these are meant for brightness. Some are meant for convenience. So my next test is the fumbling at your door trying to get some light test. So here's how that went. All right, hopefully this next test is of some use. This is gonna be my convenience test. I'm out by my front door. It's actually much darker out here than the camera shows because I've got the settings cranked up with my camera. But the idea of a lot of these smaller flashlights is not brightness, but it's actually how convenient it is to actually get it out of your pocket and lighten up your front door. So let me try that next. So in my pocket right now, let me pull out the Night Fox. And, oh yeah, look, at, look how bright that is. It doesn't seem like it's very much when it's out back, but when you're at the front door, that's plenty bright. Yeah, you could certainly use your key for that. No problem for that, all right. Convenience test for Night Fox, not too bad. This might actually work. <laughs> I never know about some of these tests. Let's try the key mate. I'm gonna do all three modes. Well, I don't need the strobe, but I'll do the two modes. Key mate, 16 lumens. Now that right there, that's plenty bright. That would be plenty bright to get your key out and do your, unlock your door. Let's try the 35. That's pretty bright too. So really, I mean, yeah, if you're out in the field, it's not gonna be bright, but up at your front door, that's plenty bright. Let's try the Olight. All right, this is on low. That's Low is certainly good enough. Let's try high. Oh, wow. Your, your whole neighborhood will know you're fumbling for your keys if you get on high. High is a lot. When you're right up next to a white door like that, 
high is pretty bright. Actually, I think low is better in this situation, which is probably good anyways. Battery will last longer. Let's try the lumen top with the uh, diffuser on. Oh wow, it's with the diffuser on. It's very more. It's more lamp like. It's more lamp like. But it's certainly good enough. Let's take the diffuser off. All right, high, very bright. Medium looks pretty good, and low. Low is kind of dim, but it's actually still sufficient. Really, all these are working pretty well. Now it's time for the big boys. Let's try the Aurora A3. I'm gonna try the press and hold mode first. Whoa! <laughs> wow, is that bright? That's that's actually too bright. All right, on the lowest mode, it actually is quite pleasant up here. I can certainly see the lock on the door. It's not bad. Let me go through these modes here up close. So we have there. I think it's the moonlight mode, or the lowest mode. Then you have low medium and high is, is pretty bright way overkill or something like this you just need the lowest mode and it's certainly fine the nice thing about the aurora is it's one-handed a lot of these are two-handed this is one-handed so you can have stuff in your hands reach in your pocket grab it out and you're good to go and finally you probably won't be using this when you're fumbling for your keys i can't imagine this really being used for this but they do have the firefly mode which is only 0.3 lumens let's see how that looks out here Oh wow, that's very dim. I mean, it's good enough, but it's actually pretty dim. But the nice thing is, is this is one-handed operation, so that's one good thing about it. Let's go through the modes now. This is the lowest mode. This is low on the through night. Through night, low, medium, high. This is not even turbo yet. Are you ready for turbo? I don't even know if you're going to see me when I hit turbo. Here comes the 3700 lumens. <laughs> wow, look at that. Whoa. Probably overkill for something like trying to find a lock in your door, but still pretty fun at the same time. <laughs> the whole neighborhood's lit up. But really, is the Firefly mode useful? I think it is. It's, it's actually kind of almost hard to see the lock, but it's good enough. Through Night's pretty versatile, but it's kind of big compared to the others. All right, so that's the convenience test. Hopefully it was useful. Let's go inside and wrap this thing up. So in the end, if you just want the brightest of the bunch, you, you're probably gonna go with the through night. It's got that massive 3,700 lumens for at least two minutes. If you're just going with the tiniest one, you're gonna go with the, the night fox. This tiny little thing, well, you'll barely even feel that in your pocket. The key mate is an interesting one because it kind of blends in with the rest of your keys and also has one touch operation. And it has other uses, like you can hang it off of something that's kind of a tail light. You can even hang it up for, as an SOS on the side of your bike or something. So there's other uses for this one the others may not be as suited for. If you're just looking for a balance between cost and brightness, you want to go one of these mid-level ones, the Olight and the Lumen Top. I really have a hard time choosing between the two of these. Maybe the Lumen Top with a, a rechargeable battery because it has a diffuser and the glow-in-the-dark O-ring. It's maybe not as bright as the, the Olight, which is a little more compact, so I, it's hard for me to pick between the two of those. I think they're both pretty solid. But for me, my vote, if I was going to do this all over and just buy one, I'd go with the Aurora because it has a nice balance between compactness and brightness. It's rechargeable. It seems to have a lot of features. To me, my pick, and they're all pretty good, is the Aurora. But have you used a flashlight like this? Tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.